When you're not doing pedicab, what do you do besides that? I'm a sexual breakthrough coach. I grew up LDS, but I left the church when I was about 16. Now I just believe in the universe. Like, I believe in karma. I was sexually assaulted when I was five years old by the bishop's son, mentally challenged boy. Going up to the four queens, it's, it's gold. My bike's gold. We're made of gold! When I married my wife, Jess, um, they disowned me. Ironically, we're both sex workers now, entirely different. You've heard of ethical porn. So, so you, you, you two make some porn? We do, actually. Yeah. We have we have fans. You're a Mr. Las Vegas here. Yes. <laughs> yes, I am. Mr. Pedicab Las Vegas. I had a lot of abuse. I was molested by my dad. From the Some of my first memories was, were just being fondled. And I would work. I was always working to prove myself and didn't know why. Like, I don't believe that porn is something to just be consumed or to be just free on the internet and just readily available like candy. And I was really afraid of death. I was afraid of going to hell. I was afraid of so much. I tried recovery groups, not realizing that I could actually believe in myself the entire time, that I had the power to actually change myself. How about your relationship with mom and dad? It's actually non-existent. There's a lot of shitty porn out there. And what's missing in the porn industry is passion and eroticism. It's missing this power. It's missing connection. And so my wife have actually made it part of our life's mission to break the stigma within the sex industry. What's up everybody from Las Vegas, Nevada? I'm on Fremont Street. We're getting toward the, uh, you know, traditional, you know, downtown Las Vegas area. Got the El Cortez. And I started talking with this pedicab driver. Hop on, let's go. Okay, okay. Go. Let me introduce you. Time's wasted. What's your name? <laughs> My name's Reed. Okay, Reed. Come on, let's Let, get out I'm gonna here. get in the back. <laughs> He's got quite a story to tell, and he wants to tell it. And we're going to do that in the back of a pedicab. Yo, here we go. Reed. Welcome to Las Vegas, peeps. How y'all doing? It's a pleasure to be here. <laughs> How long have you been in Vegas? About 11 months. I think it's a good place to be. Oh, yeah. So you you, you ca kind of came here just before pandemic started, right? Yes, uh, it was about three months before the pandemic. Actually, about two and a half months in, and we were starting our online business. And yeah, it was really exciting. It was just great to show up and know that the world was going to shit in Las Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> but you're still you're still riding. How long have you been doing this? I've been doing it for uh, about a month. I'm brand new to this. But Only I'm, a month. Yeah, but I'm loving it. But you look fit, uh, fit yeah. as anybody could be, really. That, that You look fit. I, I can carry a few 200-pound men across the city, so yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, I'll, I'll call you for that to, to test that out. Right. <laughs> Give me some big men. Let's we'll see if we can do this. Hey, so, uh... Can you tell everybody out there, what is a pedicab uh, ride cost over here in Las Vegas? It depends on where you want to go. It depends on where I take you. I'll take you anywhere if you pay enough. <laughs> <laughs> so you can take me to the desert if it's, uh, if I got 500 bucks, I suppose, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, no. No, that's about $1,000. <laughs> oh, $1,000. Okay, okay. All right, yeah. all right. And if I shake my ass, then it costs even more. So I kind of see him shaking that right now, though. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, I play music, but I don't know if that works for uh, your YouTube. Will you get demonetized? Oh, well, while you're writing? I'm going to try to come yeah. All right, so, uh, I do sing to people a lot on this cab. You do? Can, 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 you, can, you, can you think of some song that you'd like to sing for us? Yeah. There's actually, I, I sing a lot of John Legend, and I sing that WAP song a lot, you know? That's, that's not fun. easy, those songs. Yeah. <laughs> that's not easy. I, 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 bet, I bet the ladies like those songs. Oh, they love it when they hear it. And I'll give you all 
love me. <laughs> yeah, I do nice. that a lot. So you, you got the upper register pretty solid there. That's, yeah. that's hard. I, I, can, I think I lost that. Oh, you lost your upper register? I think so. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm not that. using it. They have surgery for that. They do? Yeah. Oh. That's how Steven Tyler keeps his, his vocals right. <laughs> he does? Well, uh, I, I always wondered about him. Yeah, it's this LASIK thing they do. He loses his voice like every five years. It's cool stuff. Anyway, so yeah, being a pedicab Hello, driver is really oh, cool. Okay. Hello! Hello! Give us a ride! We're faster than you! <laughs> you used to be a Mormon or any or like Yeah, that? so I grew up LDS, but I left the church when I was about 16. I kind of gradually went out. Most people go out in this grand spectacle where they're just like, oh shit, I'm leaving everything. Except they're more like, oh shoot, or oh darn. And I just transitioned right out real slow. Kind of got into New Ageism and then became a Christian. And did, you, did you live in Utah or something? I lived in Utah, lived in Nevada, Idaho. And in Idaho is where I converted to Christianity. And it just seemed like the next yeah. best thing to God, you know? Like, I had to believe in God. Now I just believe in the universe. Like, I believe in karma. There's energy. It's measurable. It's real. It's moving. Like, what you put out, you really do get back most of the time. Reed, um, when you're not doing pedicab, what do you do besides that? I'm a sexual breakthrough coach. And um, I've a, been, a sexual breakthrough coach. Yeah, I've been doing that for years. In fact, I've I've always helped people around me, uh, my coworkers, uh, people in business, and I've been an entrepreneur for most of my life. And it's just something I've always done. Um, after COVID, it went online. Everything became Zoom calls. Right now, I'm doing like a 12-week long program. It's pretty intensive. And so I do that online, and then I do this pedicab thing in the evening. And it's, it's really an incredible, incredible life, you know? Um, I just, and, and, uh, you, don't need a, you don't need to get a fitness club membership. and No, don't need a fitness club membership, that's for sure. <laughs> and then do sexual breakthrough coaching on, on the, you know, when you're not pedicab driving. Absolutely. Did you own this or rent it? I rent it, 600 bucks a month. Oh, okay. Yep. And then they store it for you and everything? They store it for me. Maintain it and everything. Oh, they maintain it? Yeah. So. And I, I love all the sparkles on it and everything. Let, let me show this off. It's gold, man. Whoa, you that is where I'm going in life. Yeah. Going up to the Four Queens. It's, it's gold. My bike's gold. We're made of gold. You're gold. <laughs> Believe in yourself. Well, Reed, you're a Mr. Las Vegas here. Yes. <laughs> yes, I am. Mr. Pedicab Las Vegas. <laughs> are, are you married? <laughs> I am to an incredible woman, Jess Richardson. She's my queen. We've been married for 16 years, going on 17 in March. Oh, you got married young. I did. I was 19 years old. She was 24. How old are you now? Got myself a cougar. <laughs> wait, wait. You're, you're how old? I'm 36 now. And she's 41. Oh, okay, right on. Okay. Yeah. Good for her and good for you. Oh yeah. Thank you. Do you want to tell us anything about the sexual breakthrough uh, classes or, or your your experiences? I would love to, actually. Um, I grew up LDS. I know I mentioned that earlier. Um, I had a lot of abuse. I was molested by my dad. From the some of my first memories was, were just being fondled and driving down the road. Um, I'm so sorry that happened. Oh, it's. It's water under the bridge, so to speak. Like, I, I was sexually assaulted when I was five years old by the bishop's son, mentally challenged boy, and uh, never really realized how it affected me until later on in life where I would just have massive anxiety attacks, and I would work. I was always working to prove myself and didn't know why. You know, I'd, I'd work 12-hour days in construction when I was 16 years old. I'd rather work than go to school, and I'd rather accomplish everything I could as if I was going to die every single day. And I was really afraid of death. I was afraid of going to hell. I was afraid of so much. And when I met my wife, she had so much freedom, so much personal freedom. And she had been making amends with family members and just like really tapping into this 
self-healing thing. And um, I started to learn about self-healing and realized that there's this whole world that I've been missing. And in the process, I tried Christianity, I tried religion, and I tried recovery groups, not realizing that I could actually believe in myself the entire time, that I had the power to actually change myself. I had the power to reach within me and really find the answers to my deepest problems. Having a solid relationship has helped me more than anything. My wife challenges me to be a better person. She challenges me to be her, her king every fucking day. And yeah. How about your relationship with mom and dad? It's actually non-existent. Um, I married, when I married my wife Jess, um, they disowned me. And because she wasn't the, uh, the letter day, uh, no, because she wasn't Mormon. So my parents left the church because the church wasn't conservative enough. Oh no! <laughs> if that's possible, right? Wow. So they didn't like that she used to be a sex worker, and ironically, we're both sex workers now. Entirely different. You've heard of ethical porn. Um, it is really incredible. There's a lot of shitty porn out there. And what's missing in the porn industry is passion and eroticism. It's missing this power. It's missing connection. And so my wife have actually made it part of our life's mission to break the stigma within the sex industry. So, so you, you, you two make some porn? We do, actually. Yeah. We have... We have fans, we have uh, members, um, and like we've been an able to help. Thing? We do have an OnlyFans. Um, right now we're transitioning into a website where um, we can just make it a lot better quality and really just focus on serving our clients the best we can. Like, I don't believe that porn is something to just be consumed or to be just free on the internet and just readily available like candy. I think that's what destroys our respect toward humanity. How would people find you? Um, you can find me on Instagram, reads, R-E-I-D-S underscore voice. Um, I'm going to be uh, giving you the website soon. My wife's working on it right now. Or on Facebook, Reed Richardson. What do you think of Las Vegas now during the pandemic time? It's... It's quite challenging because it's hard to tell my customers which restaurant to go to when because you don't know who's going to be open. You just don't know. Yeah. You just don't know. But Fremont Street is pretty predictable. Like I, I've got my people down here. I can tell my, my customers what places are good um, and just give them a good time every single night. I think that's so fantastic. You can look for Reed right here on Fremont Street. I've been spending like a few weeks here already, and I've been seeing him consistently right here around this corner. Is that right? Yeah. Sixth Street night. and Fremont Street, right? Yeah. And he's ready here to, to take you on a ride. You can look him up. I'll have the links down below. And I think I think you had an amazing story. Yeah, join my course. I have a 12 week a 12 week long course, and we go into depth. I challenge you. You will grow. I check in with you every single day. You're a, you're a beautiful human being. Thank you. So are you. It's been great. Thank you for that story. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> can, can you... I want to give a little tour of the of the pedicab. Can you can you show me anything? Well, the it's, speakers, it's kind of any... like my boss's thing. Um, Alright, I'll, I'll do a tour. Where do you control them? We got the speakers over here on the pedicab. Got the golden seats. Yes. We got the spokes. We got brake lights in the back. We got an we got an ad for a for a nice club here, Palomino. Did, did you have how many gears do you have? Twenty one. Oh, 21. All right, good. He's got thick ass tires. That's really nice. Yeah, yeah. good road bike. You got the it's you got the suspension. Like they put they can hold up under like a lot of pressure. Yeah. You carried us pretty well. Oh yeah. Yeah, you guys are lightweights. <laughs> You're nothing. Nice. All right. <laughs> Love you guys. Thank Love you, you too. Thank you, Reed. Uh, I'm
hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, my my pedicab ride with Reed, $25. I got a good story. I got a little tour of Las Vegas downtown. I thought it was nice. I want to thank Reed for sharing uh, real intimate details and things. I want to thank you all for watching. I want to wish you peace, love, health, and happiness. Remember the love. If you want to see more Reed, look in the links below. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.